How do you know which pronoun you need to use in a sentence? In this lesson, you will learn how to ensure pronoun antecedent agreement by making sure they agree in gender and number. Let's review. A pronoun replaces a noun in the sentence. So in the sentence, the boy lost the pencil, we can replace the noun the boy with the pronoun he. I bought three tickets to the amusement park, but then I lost one of it. Now here's a common mistake. Writers will often put a pronoun that doesn't agree with the antecedent in the sentence. So here you lost one ticket, but it's one ticket of the three tickets you had bought. So the pronoun isn't it, which was singular. It has to be plural. So now the pronoun should read them. I bought three tickets to the amusement park, but then I lost one of them. In order to make sure that a pronoun and antecedent agree, first you need to know what an antecedent is. If you look at the word antecedent, ante means before. An antecedent is the word or phrase before the pronoun that the pronoun is referring to. So take the following sentence. The boy dropped his pencil. Okay, who dropped the pencil? The boy. This is the antecedent. So the pronoun here is his. Now the boy is singular and masculine, and the pronoun his is singular and masculine. So our antecedent and pronoun agree. Antecedents and pronouns need to agree in terms of gender. If the antecedent is a girl, which is female, then the pronoun needs to be female. So the pronoun could be her. Harry used her broom to fly. Again, our antecedent in the sentence is Harry. Our pronoun is her. Do our antecedent and pronoun agree for gender? Well, Harry is a boy, and the pronoun her is for a girl. So in order for it to agree, we have to change her to his. Harry used his broom to fly. Antecedents and pronouns also need to agree in terms of numbers. So a singular pronoun would agree with a singular antecedent. Here we have a plural antecedent, the students. So to agree, the pronoun would have to be plural, like there. The students raised his hands. The antecedent is the students. Our pronoun is his. Do our antecedent and pronoun agree in number? Well, students is plural, and his is singular, so we have to change our pronoun from singular to plural, so we need to correct it. The students raised their hands. Each of the dogs gets one treat for its snack. Now here the antecedent is a phrase, each of the dogs. Although the word dogs is plural, the indefinite pronoun each is singular. So our antecedent is actually singular and requires a singular pronoun. Its fits here as a pronoun because we don't know the gender. Indefinite pronouns like Anyone, each, one, and something are all singular words and require a singular antecedent pronoun agreement. During the race, several racers crash their cars. So who crashed the cars? Because this is our antecedent. Several racers. Well, racers is plural, and the word several is plural as well. So our antecedent 
is plural. So we need a plural pronoun. And there is a plural pronoun, so we have agreement here. Indefinite pronouns like few, many, and several are all plural words, and thus they need plural antecedent pronoun agreement. In this lesson, you have learned how to ensure pronoun antecedent agreement by making sure they agree in gender and number.